Hello my lovelies, how are you all doing? I hope you're keeping well and staying crafty. I'm on today with number 40, day 40 of the DYI CAD 2024 challenge. I'll leave the link in the description box as always. Um, so today's prompt was parchment. Now just I thought, right, parchment, we do parchment paper. Oh, before I before I go any further, um, I can't think which day this will be up on. Um, but when the prompts for this this week came up, as I said in a previous video, um, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do with all these? And then just all of a sudden, the ideas was like ping, 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 ping in my brain. And I knew more or less what I was going to do with all of them. And I've done all seven, I did all seven prompts, all seven cards in less than two days. I was really on it. <laughs> I was like... Mr. Doodle, right, I'm going upstairs, I'm going to go and do some things, I will see you later. <laughs> and that's what I did over two days, <laughs> and it's been such a lot of fun. Anyway, so today's is um, day 40 of 61, and it's parchment. So I cut some baking parchment, and I was going to go with a vintage theme. I thought, oh, I'll go vintage. I'll put some brown ink on it and stamp on it. Well, that was having none of it. I, I really thought the the stays on and the per the permanent inks would go on it, but I bet they're, they're still not dry. And I actually, well, by the time you see this, I would have done this a few days ago, but in reality, I did it yesterday. Um, but that wasn't having any of it, so I thought, oh, never mind, right, we'll go bright colours. We'll get the good old faithful Pebio Diner paint. Favourite paints, these are a lot of people's favourite paints. Love them so much. Love all the Pebios, but the Diners are just the shiny ones. They won't let me down, and they didn't. So I've got the sheet of paper, and I just got this card. I've squirted some on, ch -ch -ch -ch. you know how you do, ch -ch -ch, with all the colours, well, just the three colours. And then I was a bit impatient because this was actually the last one of the cards that I did. It's not, not the last of the week, but it was the last one that I did. Right, well, I'll use the heat tool. Well, I put it on thick and it started bubbling. So let's go with all the bubbles. So I very carefully, and I had a little bottle of water nearby in case I set my paper on fire, <laughs> but I didn't. And I went over it all and bubbled it all up. Look at that texture. Oh, I just love that. That is so cool. Love it so much. And I knew what I was roughly what I was going to do. Um, so this is it, I'll show you. This is what I've done. Now I used this off of the same card that I did in um, number 39s. Off of the glossy card which had got pixie powders or brushos or something on. So I've got another piece of that. Cut that up, thought, oh, that'll do. And I've just ruffled it up randomly <laughs> and i just love it and i try to cut some thoughts <laughs> very stupid i am <laughs> i tried to cut some circles with my punch i thought well if i do it that way it won't get stuck mm, it did i've not told mr doodle about that he's he's the wizard at unblocking punches i can usually just stick my scissors down and do it but i can't that one I'll take that down when I finish this. So I thought, well, they don't have to be perfect. So I just freehand cut the circles out and then just printed some, not didn't print, stamp, sorry. Just have fun because I think sometimes we try and think too much, don't we? We think too much into things and it's just about having fun. 
you know th this couldn't have been more easy i didn't stick it all down you know didn't stick it all down i just stuck a little bit at the top so and then the same with that uh, just stuck it on then went round the edge with gold probably should have gone round the edge of these circles but i didn't <laughs> And that's that one and i do love it i mean i do i was going to because you get excited you forget to do things don't you look at the texture i did think when i'd done it right it's on parchment paper i think over time the paint will chip off i think that will just come off because i know i've made um I'm rambling on now a few years ago before i had started doing like drop sheets on paper and this is like the the backing off of a big sheet of paper i used to use parchment paper greaseproof paper as a, a sheet to paint on and then they got really pretty and i thought well these are too good to throw away i think this was probably before i realized that you know people actually do things with the thing and i made some like rustic just rustic bags i didn't cut them or anything i just ripped them left them as they was it was ripped and they were absolutely beautiful but i did go over them with uh mod podge because i think at the time when i'd got my stash of the papers out bits were flaking off so i thought oh but anyway back to this i forgot to do that so whether it will come off or not i don't know we shall see it's not as though they're going to be taken out and used every day is it so it's a little bit of rambling on that is number what did i say let me look in my book 40 parchment so 40 of 61 oh it's it's so good having this challenge it really is uh, i know i've said it before that i'm not usually one for following prompts but i've loved it and this week was just amazing as i say after looking at the prompts and thinking oh my god and then all of a sudden bing 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 all these ideas it was like really <laughs> what's going on with your brain <laughs> so thank you ever so much for watching i think that's probably looking a lot darker than it is it's a bit of an overcast day uh, thank you very much for watching take care and i'll speak to you tomorrow bye